I'm sorry, let me do it now. <laughs> Just quite exciting. Yeah. In the crap. The noise. I'm glad you're smiling. That's much smooth, actually. <laughs> Hello world, welcome back to Accelerate and welcome to the Nissan 350 GT. AKA the G35 <laughs> Infinity, oh. but debatably the yep, Skyline. The Skyline. <laughs> now we love quirky cars on this channel and I mean you never see these especially over here. So yeah, I'd especially like one like this. Yes, so, yeah. I'm really looking forward to this so let's get stuck in. Yeah, let's do it. Really, really comfy. So guys, you join us out on the road in Krista's 350 GT and I gotta say, as I said, we love quirky cars on the channel. You never, ooh, pay attention, <laughs> you nev never see these cars, especially over here. And there's a big debate we were having off camera. Um, it is a skyline, it's, it's not, not a skyline. Sky <laughs> it is not a skyline. It's, uh, Chris is very aware. This is, I mean, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. These are basically, they're more based on a 350Z. Um, same running gear, same engine, but this was basically marketed as the luxury 350Z with four seats, so yep. definitely the more practical one. And I've got to say, first impressions, when I jumped in here, uh, been in a few 350Zs, obviously Kenny owned a 350Z. It was very Japanese, very plasticky, very, you know, t t typical of the era. I've got to say, I'm quite impressed with this so far. They've really done a good job. They, I mean, they've transformed the entire interior. This. It's very surprising. Like I was genuinely surprised and I can see where they've gone for like the luxury vibe. The main difference is with this one. Uh, obviously this car is on air and that makes a hell of a difference. And another thing I was surprised with, a lot of cars when they're on air, when they're aired up, they look a bit silly. This, honestly, I, I think this looks, it still looks nice even when it's driving. Yeah, it doesn't look out of place, does it? No, it really doesn't. And the comfort is so good. Obviously it's an auto, which a lot of people I imagine would, you know, turn their nose up to but so far I mean it's a horrible day yeah. but I'm just you don't have to do much I'm just I'm really enjoying this <laughs> like usually we're bouncing off limiters but I am so enjoying this drive already I am it's chilled yeah. didn't it it's a chilled car it really today. is like I said when we get it to some open roads I'm sure you know we'll, we'll give it some feel free but yeah oh there we are <laughs> <laughs> How long have you owned the car? Uh, since August 2017. Oh, so you've had it a while then? Yeah, I had it for a while. Um, I had the Evo before, but the Evo rotted around the actual shell itself. Oh, yeah, let's go, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Chris, you are a, a true petrol head. You went from an Evo 4, yep. is it? Yeah. Evo 4, yeah, with full Tommy Mac interior. I had other bits done to it as well. Ooh. But it did literally, the car started falling apart. <laughs> So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll give it some, obviously we're not gonna go nuts because it is raining, but let's see, I'll just leave it as it is. Let's, let's, uh, oh, see the, the torque is there. Oh, and the noise. <laughs> the thing I love about these, like, again, a lot of people slate the engines. I, I like the way it's, it's linear power, obviously. Um, it just keeps going and going and the noise when you hit the high i mean i wasn't looking but when you hit the higher rpms it screams it does. but even there we are so going into corners i mean i don't know why i'm very aware do you know, because it's it's the first um car on air i've ever driven is it so yeah and ah. i was i don't know what i was expecting from the suspension it holds well so what made you go because these are really rare i mean you never see them over here that's why when we saw the car 
we thought, got to do a video on that. And I have to be honest, I've already said this to Chris, yeah. I'm not generally a fan of, it was always the front end that put me off. Mm -hmm. But what you've done is just, anyway, I get ahead of myself. So what, <laughs> what made you go with the 350 GD first of um, all? The main reason was I needed a car and I went on eBay. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to say, I was doing a bit of Instagram stalking and we were talking about off camera. The front bumper, oh. I mean, I'll, I'll flash up a picture of what it was like before. Shameful. It, yeah. Shameful. <laughs> I was like, how do I find a polite way to say it? It looked crap. It was shocking. <laughs> but what you've done, and like I said, this goes back to what we were saying, you are a true petrol head. I mean, the front bumper is actually from a 350. a 350Z. And it was only when you pointed it out, I thought, oh my God, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what she... Let's hear the mid-range tour, guys. I do know these roads lately, so I... That's why I said you could drive. <laughs> Do you want to give us a quick run through? Um, obviously, there's a lot of modifications on the car. I have to say straight away, I mean, the carbon on the front, the carbon yeah. wings. Thank you. That was the first thing I noticed with this, and I was going to say, hats off. Thanks. It just... So anyway, again, rambling again, give us a quick run through of your of the main modifications. Okay, well, just the carbon bits. we got a Cybon um, bonnet, Cybon yeah. wings as well. we got yeah. carbon fibre side skirts, and I've got a carbon fibre um, R35 spoiler on the back. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Um, when we first had the car, the carbon was absolutely shocking. So can I do a little shout out? Of course you can. Wade, you are a legend. He sorted out the front of the car. He okay, yeah. scratched it all back. He re-skimmed it all. Yep. And it looks absolutely mint. So yeah, that's just the carbon on it. But I've got um, Rohana CC10 wheels from America that were um, donated to me by my friend Ash. Oh, wow. Because again, that was the first thing that Kenny uh, mentioned when we pulled up. He said the wheels just, oh, yeah, yeah, so I again, was, fair play, yeah. I was very, very lucky. Yeah, I made sure I put petrol in this morning, <laughs> so we're good, we're good. <laughs> but the, see, even that, it, is, it does give you confidence, that noise, that noise is brilliant. But see, you can still, yes, it's an auto, but you can still have fun. Yeah, that's what I mean, whenever you want to play, you can just knock it over and yeah, see, change gears yeah. yourself. It's the down shit, oh, this is... <laughs> I said, it is like different cars make you smile for different reasons. Yeah. This, yeah, this is not ripping your face off with the power, but I don't still... think it needs to. No, I mean, like I said, you don't buy these cars for sort of naught to sixty times or to break speed records, but for the odd occasion you do want to hone it. I mean, I never ever do that though. <laughs> I'm a very cautious driver. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so cautious. <laughs> I want everyone to see the cars. That's, yeah. Well, like I said, it's a cruiser. It's, um, I mean, I would say, you know, it's very much a show car. So we can get some noises. Do you know what? The gear change is very crisp as well. Yeah. For an auto, as in, like, not a DSG or anything like that. Oh, no, 100%. My daily's an auto as well. Yeah. And the difference in the gear changes, you can feel it. Yeah. I hate doing this video because I'm thinking, bro, I can see myself in one of these. I think I'm going to go and look for one. <laughs> That's what he said. He said, every car you drive, you're like, I'm going to buy one video. of them. I'm going to buy one. <laughs> oh, i got to say a massive thank you for obviously for trusting me. Um, you're welcome. For letting me give it a bit of a hoon. You're more than welcome, honestly. Yeah. Okay, so you press the button button twice and you hold it on the second press. <laughs> Little things, but I've always wanted to do this, so. No, you have so. to. No, you have to. So. <laughs> No, you have to hold it. Hold Broken it. It's not Sorry, attached. Yeah. It's on a magnet. Don't panic. I'm Don't panic. Up already. It's on a magnet. Getting way too ahead of myself now. Come on, then. Right. You can do it. Just, just calm yourself. That's it. That's so cool. I would never, never get bored of that. I was happy just cruising. Like I said, got to some mountain roads. Better than I thought it was going to be. You can have fun in it. And like I said, I wish it was dry so I could throw it around a bit more. But even just from what I did then, yeah. it was, I had fun and I want to say a massive thank you. Oh, you're welcome. For not only trusting me the drive, but letting me hone it on this horrible day um, on these roads. 
But um, I think we should get Kenyon here, I think, just for at least experience it. Yeah, of course. That's what he wants. <laughs> Give it Try a and go. get him in the back first, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow as you can see it's definitely raining oh my still. god uh, it's actually picked up haven't it it's got even worse yeah we come up here and it started clearing and then all yeah. of a sudden yeah right first impression sir yes uh i gotta say i think everyone's aware by now you're not the biggest fan of 350z i really ain't but this so, doesn't even feel like a 350z i said the exact same it really doesn't they've done a really good job of don't get me wrong to be honest it does feel older what do you think i think so but okay, okay. only the, the design, actually everything like button-wise or the switch gear and everything looks modern, but I don't know, it just gives me an older car impression. Okay, yeah, um, interesting. Yeah, so obviously the older screen probably doesn't help. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> I do, that screen, is yeah. awesome, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but yeah, it's really actually a nice place to be. You could definitely feel it's better than the 350Z. Yeah. Sh sorry, the 350 Shed. <laughs> nah, <laughs> sorry for all let's the 350Z see prefer, Let's see if you prefer the, I'm curious. Yeah. This. It's quite smooth, actually. It's quite smooth, actually. It's quite smooth, actually. It's quite smooth, actually. Let's give it a little bit on the way up. I won't go nuts because of the weather. And it's not mine. Which uh, sports mode? Ah, there we go. Yeah. That's the, the fun mode. <laughs> the camera switches which is up and down now. <laughs> I think up is up, maybe? Nope. Oh no, up is down. down. <laughs> we do know what we're doing. <laughs> The torque's there for, you know, for the same, hill. yeah. And obviously being an NA, it's, you know, I see it's there, it's on demand. Yeah. Now, I always say, I always said with the 350Z, they, they are underpowered. Yeah. That's the one thing I didn't like about the 350Z. I think they should have had more power. And I think with, the thing is with the, I mean, I think these are geared a bit longer as well. It so does these seem are like not, definitely. These are not the ideal roads. I mean, this is not what this car was built for. No. It is a GT you, car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially now for the twisties. Yeah, but when you rev it out, I yeah. mean, it makes a good noise. When you get above about sort of 5,000, it does yes. start screaming. It does, it does yeah. Good. You need to be up in a rev range to get any performance out of it, to be yeah. honest. It does feel quite lazy down low. Yeah. A lot of torque down yeah. low. It really, really is. Oh, yeah. See, nice. that felt good then. Yes. Yeah. Obviously with an auto box, we'll try and keep your foot flat, but... It's nice, like I said, the 350Z is very, very trumpety noisy. Yeah, and that's what they're known for. Don't you? See? I quite like that. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's nice. I like it as a cruiser. Obviously it's not yeah. a sports car. Yes. It is a GT car. Yeah, obviously with this condition as well, the weather is oh, yeah, but I mean, terrible. We couldn't push it, no, unfortunately. No, you can feel the torque though. You can feel the back end twitching, yeah, which is yeah. pretty cool. It's quite exciting. Yeah, for using it as, I mean, basically what she uses it as, I mean, it's Perfect. a show car. Yes. She loves driving to and from shows that are far away. Yeah. It's so comfy. It really um, is, yeah. I could do miles and miles yeah. and miles on it. And this. it's just a nice place to be. It is. It's, it's so really I, it's quite luxurious, you know, considering yeah. what it is. Yeah. I think I prefer one of these to a 350Z. That's, that was going to be my main <laughs> question for you, is yeah. which do you prefer? I, I think, think it's so. quite clear. Yeah, definitely. I, I really am not a fan of the 350Z. I want to say a hat off to Chris, because I think... Well, and Darren. And Darren Chris yeah. and Darren, because they've built this themselves. I mean, they've wrapped yeah. it themselves, the pumper, just little things like that. Yeah, it all makes it Love the personal, fact that they've done know? it themselves. So, and obviously a massive thank you for trusting the two of us especially on a day like today uh, yes, on these yeah, roads exactly We're we do so treat everything with respect exactly so yes. we are so grateful every time for sure but as always thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and we will see you in the next one, one.